I want to show you this little betas pattern I came up with. Call it the blackhead because of this black glass bead I have on the front of it. Um, it's a really effective and easy to tie little betas pattern. Usually tie it mostly in size 18s and 20s. Those are the ones I tie and fish the most. Um, occasionally I'll tie it to size 16 or size 22. Today I'm going to tie it on a size 14 hook, so hopefully you can see it a little better. And the hook I'm using is this, um, a TMC 3769. Um, i got a little black glass bead here on the front. The thread I'm going to use is an Olive Dunn Uni thread. Um, i got some black pearl crystal flash. Pretty basic materials, pretty easy to find. We always got these at the shop. I'm also going to use some UTC holographic tinsel in black. And it comes in a bunch of different sizes. I'm going to use the small today. And then just some Arizona peacock dubbing. Some great dubbing. So we're going to go ahead and start my thread just behind the, the bead. Make a few wraps. Trim off my tag end. Now I'm going to take three strands of this black pearl crystal flash. And I'm going to tie it in up here in the thorax area. So that I can get a nice smooth abdomen started up here. I want to tie it in the back and then clip, clip it off. I like to start up here. And I'm going to use the thread for the body. Um, so I tie these tails in long. I leave them long off the bend of the hook. And I just wrap back. Now I like to keep my thread nice and flat when I tie this fly. So I'm going to go ahead and spin it counterclockwise anytime it seems like it's starting to round out and bulk up. I like to keep my betas patterns really thin and sparse, just like the natural. So I get to the back. And then I'm just going to advance my thread forward. And that's it really for the abdomen. I don't do anything else, just use the thread. Keep it really thin, basically just barely change the um, diameter of the hook shank. Then I'm going to take some of that black holographic tinsel. I'm going to tie it in for a wing case. So again, I mount that right behind the bead. And I don't wrap very far back to the back of my thorax because what I like to do is put a little dubbing on and I like to wrap my dubbing back over my thorax that way I get that nice folded effect on my wing case. So I just take a very sparse amount of this Arizona Peacock and then when I dub this onto my thread I dub it on in a counterclockwise fashion. So I take my dubbing, dub back a little bit over that wing case just so I get that nice folded effect we talked about. That's really it. I'm not going to go and bulk it up too much because I like to um, do a few more wraps once I've got my legs tied in. So again I'm going to take my black crystal flash. This time I'm going to add a four strand into the mix. I'm going to tie it on right behind the bead. I'll leave these long again. I'll trim them up. Make sure they're all even. When we're finished, cut that off. Then I just take two legs. I'm going to pull two of them on the side away from me. Just take a sort of locking wrap and then pull two on the side towards me. And then I just take just a little bit more of this peacock dubbing, spread it onto the thread. Gonna make a couple turns just to really lock that those legs in place. And then I'm gonna take that holographic tinsel, make sure it's centralized on the hook. Take a couple of wraps. I take two, and I pull that wing case back. Take a couple more wraps, and then I trim it off. I take my whip finish tool. But finish right behind the bead. Make sure my thread's nice and tight. And just lance it off. I take my tails, I push them up, make sure they're nice and spread, just like the natural would be. Trim those off short. And then I take my legs, and I trim them off about midway down the body. So there it is.